These are the top five most overpowered devil fruits in One Piece. Starting with the brush fruit. Yep, that's right. We're already starting with a shocker. And while this fruit may surprise many of you, let's take a look at just how incredible those powers really are. In chapter 754, the samurai Kanjuro first demonstrate this fruit's powers. To put it simply, the fruit allows its user to produce ink and then anything that is painted with this ink can come alive. And this ability makes it probably the most most adaptable fruit in the entire story. I mean, need some food? Just paint it. Need a way to fly? Easy. Need an overpowered destructive force of nature? A robot that can scale the Grand Line? One five dragon Kaidos raining down destruction on the battlefield? Literally anything is possible. Now, of course, as one big caveat, the strength of these creations does seem to depend on the skill of the artist, but in the hands of someone like Kanjiro, who is really good at art, this fruit is truly incredible. Although we initially thought that the creations were weak to water, we later then learned that they are not, which makes them even more ridiculously powerful. And we've even seen Kanjiro create walking, talking clones of other people. And while these clones seem like they can't take much damage, if the user is creative, they can still be devastating in battle. And these powers even allowed Kanjuro to create this creepy looking giant blob, which set the entirety of Kaido's castle on fire and threatened to take out every single person fighting on the island. Also, this video is sponsored by Loot Boy. If you're into either anime or games, which let's be honest, you are otherwise, what are you even doing watching this video and you haven't heard of it, Loot Boy is a free app on the App Store, Google Play, the app gallery and even the PC with over 10 million registered users worldwide and an impressive 4.6 star rating on Google Play. What does it do? Well, the system behind Loot Boy is pretty simple. You get to open booster packs like these here that contain all kinds of awesome weep style prizes. Here you can see me just opening a bunch of premium shonen packs and getting a ton of awesome stuff with some highlights including 12 months of Crunchyroll Premium, Amazon gift cards, PC games and most importantly, a ton of Shonen and One Piece related prizes. Now you might be wondering, Manu, how can I get these packs? Well, basically there are two ways. You can either take the shortcut and just use real money where you will get two packs for less than two bucks. Or if you have more time on your hands, you can complete in-app quests to earn diamonds and then pay for the packs that way. All you need to do is click the link in the description, use this code right here and Loot Boy will send you a community loot pack with diamonds, loot coins and other great stuff when you redeem it. And now back to the video. And on top of all that, we don't don't even know yet if Kanjuro actually awakened his fruit or not. I mean, since awakened fruits usually affect their environment and this one did not seem to do so, there is a decent chance that this fruit has not even reached its full potential and has an even more overpowered level that we never even got to see. One possibility for an awakening could for example be allowing the user to turn the environment into ink which can then be used to create anything. Or maybe the user can even awaken different brushes so that anyone who has one can bring paintings to life. Either way, the brush fruit feels like one of the most critically underrated and insanely adaptable devil fruits in the story. And if you were surprised by the brush fruit making it into this top five here, then you won't believe what fruits are at number one and two on this list. Yeah. And still, it might be nothing compared to the terrifying and truly godlike life warping powers of the soul fruit. In chapter 835, we get an explanation for how this fruit works works by its current user, Big Mom. Basically, the fruit allows the user to manipulate the soul, also known as lifespan, of other people and oneself. She can take the lifespan under certain conditions and then turn other objects into living, conscious beings using this stolen lifespan. Like I said, she is literally creating life. And like the other fruits on this list, it isn't simply overwhelmingly powerful in battle, it also has many other mind-bending uses that make this fruit truly special. As I mentioned, Big Mom uses the soul fruit to bring objects to life. Those are then called homies, which can move around and act independently, but they are also mostly forced to obey her commands. These homies still retain some personality and memories from the person whose soul they originally were created with. So let's look at some examples of just how broken this ability truly is. Big Mom basically brought the entire forest on her island to protect her home from intruders. She made an entire army out of chess pieces, she can animate food and water, she also used her own soul to create special homies as we got to see with Zeus, 
Prometheus, Napoleon, and Hera, which you then can use to fly and basically use elemental powers such as fire and lightning, kind of copying a bunch of other devil fruits. So basically the user can create life as long as they have soul available to use. Nonetheless, there are some limitations to these powers. For one, Big Mom is only able to steal lifespan from people who either freely offer it or people who are afraid of her. Now naturally, most people are scared of Big Mom, but we don't know if this is a rule for the devil fruit or only for Big Mom herself. For example, could someone else with the fruit steal lifespan from someone they love or someone who is weak? In addition, souls can't be infused into corpses or other living people and the homies are also somewhat independent and can even betray their user if they have enough motivation for it or like we saw with Nami, if someone has a beaver card of the soul fruit user. And soul can also be stolen once it is extracted from someone else. And we've actually seen one other person use this fruit as well, Mother Caramel before Big Mom <clears throat> um, ate her. And she also created a homie from fire named Pandora, which is ironic because she kind of opened Pandora's box with Big Mom. Uh. You get it. And while Big Mom was never confirmed to be awakened, it is possible that the awakening of this devil fruit is actually these dark blobs that we see on Whole Cake Island here. Now, these blobs were created by Big Mom and are able to gather lifespan from people who offer it. And so without a doubt, the soul fruit is super powerful and adaptive, able to create devastating weapons, bring objects to life and even transform entire islands to match the desires of its user. Which is just insanely overpowered, but doesn't even come close to this literal god fruit that broke the entire One Piece fandom when it was revealed in chapter 1044. The mythical zone human devil fruit model sun god Nika. And of course this one had to be on this list. How could it not? You might or might not be aware that many previous top devil fruit videos have never actually included Luffy's rubber fruit because honestly it's not that great but since chapter 1044 when we first see Luffy's awakening and are told that this fruit is actually a mythical zone this fruit has become one of the most overpowered and strongest in the entire story. Not only does this fruit turn the user's body into rubber and all the crazy shenanigans that we've seen Luffy do with that, but upon awakening, they are able to freely manifest their entire imagination into the world. Remember all those crazy things that you imagined doing as a kid? Well, Luffy can do all of that. In just a short time since his reveal, we've seen Luffy turn people and objects into rubber. He can catch lightning, punch with fire, create actual goggles out of his hair, who knows, maybe he'll even be able to imitate other devil fruits in the future as well, which to a certain degree he already is doing. And all of this of course is on top of having incredible strength and endurance as a zone fruit user. Now, one downside of the fruit is that using these powers is probably costing Luffy his lifespan. We're actually being told this by many of his opponents and can even see him grow incredibly weak and old whenever he's using a new power. However, beside this weakness, we don't even know the true limitations or even the ultimate possibilities and powers of this devil fruit so do make sure to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop and this devil fruit is another one where the powers are good on their own but they are significantly enhanced by the person using this fruit and in this case luffy is of course a perfect match for the fruit because he can fully utilize his joyful spirit and his limitless imagination which is probably the reason that he was the first person to awaken it in over 800 years but even as ridiculously over powered as the Nika fruit is, you'll probably be surprised to hear that it still falls quite short of the reality bending powers of the number two fruit on this list. A fruit that you probably didn't have on your radar, but it is easily taking the second place for this video and actually not for the reasons that you might think. And that is Bartholomew Cuma's paw fruit. And I can almost guarantee that in chapter 484, when this fruit was introduced, that no one could have imagined the absurd capabilities of this power. <laughs> because when this fruit is eaten, the user's hands grow these paw pads, which can repel anything. And I mean anything. Yeah, you have the classic things that you think about, swords, range attack, punches, bullets, 
and that is nice and all, but it is hardly the limit of its true power. We saw back in Thriller Bark and Saba Odi that the user can actually launch people across the world to wherever they want. They can compress air to make a bomb, and even more mind-blowing is that it can actually repel intangible concepts such as pain and, as we just learned recently, memories and imagination, and probably stuff like personality and so on and so forth as well. And this is of course where the true power of this fruit truly lies. If it can truly repel these intangible concepts, then it might well be the way that some devil fruits are created in the first place. Something that is hinted at in the story heavily. I mean, the genius scientist Dr. Vegapunk tells us that devil fruits were born of people's desires. So could it be possible that Kuma, or a person from the past, used his devil fruit to repel a person's desire in order to create a new devil fruit? Vegapunk hints strongly at the fact that he used Kuma's fruit to create the artificial devil fruits that he was able to make as well. And so, how insane would that be? If you desire to be a soft, bouncy pillow, perhaps Kuma can push out your desire and put it into a devil fruit. You want to be a mythical unicorn? Well, pfft. Here you go. There may be some limits that we do not know of yet, but so far, this just seems like the most limitless crazy ability in the entire story. For example, could the user even repel their own pain? Because this could basically let them heal themselves limitlessly whenever they want. Could they repel a person's age to make them younger? Their personality to change who they are? I mean, truly, this fruit is so incredibly overpowered and I personally can't wait to learn more about it along with the number one one fruit coming up next. But before we get there, here are some honorable mentions that just barely missed out on this top five. For one, if I had made this list before 2022, I certainly would have had Lost Ope Ope no Mi on my list as well. I mean, the user basically becomes a god within their room area, and this little girl's hobby fruit is another insane power as she can literally turn anyone she touches into a little toy slave with everyone forgetting about them. Also missing out are some of the most destructive fruits in One Piece that you probably thought of, like the magma fruit, the tremor fruit, the light and darkness fruits, and even Kaido's mythical fish fruit, which allows him to unleash the elemental powers of a dragon. However, we are ranking the top five devil fruits that are way too overpowered for what they originally were supposed to be, and all of these fruit I just listed do pretty much exactly what you would think that they do make stuff go boom. But even still, you might be surprised to learn that despite how incredibly powerful all of these fruits I just named are, none of them even come close to the insanely overpowered abilities of number one. And uh, yeah, it's time to discuss the brain fruit. Okay, 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 give me a second here. In chapter 1066, we see the famous Dr. Vegapunk for the very first time in a flashback on the ruins of the scholar island Ohara. Now, we've always known that Vegapunk was a genius, but it completely shocked everyone to find out that he was the user of the newly introduced brain fruit. And just one chapter later, we learned that its main power is the ability to instantly memorize information and limitlessly store all that knowledge in its user's head. Uh, okay. And while at first glance this may not directly be the best fighting devil fruit, it is so incredibly overpowered based on the effects that it has on the One Piece world overall. And I will actually go so far as to argue that there is literally no one in the story who has changed the current One Piece world as much as Dr. Vegapunk has. And while we do know that he was in fact born a genius, the brain fruit is what truly allowed him to change the world. First of all, Vegapunk designed these sea prism lines self-propelled ships which allow the marines to cross the calm belt safely and without being interrupted. And while this may not seem like a big deal, remember that the world is separated by these stretches of calm seas and the red line. And basically, if someone wants to go from one to the other blues or the grand line, they have to go through reverse mountain, climb the red line, or risk sailing through the calm belt and being eaten by a giant sea monster. In other words, allowing the world government to just casually access each part of the world is a massive strategic advantage every normal person and pirate would die for because it would allow them to control the world. And this was all thanks to Vegapunk's scientific genius and the brain fruit. But the ships are only the beginning, so let's take a look at all the insane fighting forces that Vegapunk has created with the help of his fruit. He made giant robots, armies of super-powered cyborgs, and the Seraphim, which are these nearly invincible, genetically enhanced clones. I mean, seriously, 
Who in the entire world could stand up to all of these ridiculous battle weapons that Vegapunk has created up to this point? And of course, even more impressive is Vegapunk's research into the Devil Fruits and the Void Century. He has successfully cloned other Zone and Paramecia type Devil Fruits like the Swim Fruit, the Love Fruit, and even Kaido's Mythical Dragon Fruit. So if he has a whole stockpile of other Devil Fruits, just imagine the army that he could possibly create. And honestly, with his brain powers and enough time, I'm sure he could easily come up with even more more weapons to even counter Devil Fruit abilities in the first place. And while many of these advancements were possible because of the unique combination of the Brain Fruit and Vegapunk's genius, I think it is fair to say that even a normal person who ate this fruit would have the potential to become a super genius if they decided to study enough. And of course we also want to talk about what a possible awakening could look like. Other reality warping Paramecia awakenings that we've seen like Lost Kroom or Kid's Magnetism have allowed the user to grant powers of the Devil Fruit to a part of the environment. So Vegapunk, this could mean that he is able to gain the memories and knowledge by touching other people or objects in the world, thereby increasing the knowledge that he could gather even more. So when you truly think about the limitless powers of science and knowledge that you can have with this single devil fruit, there is not one out there that even comes close to reaching this level of overpowered. But if you want to prove me wrong and find an even more OP fruit that no one has thought about, make sure to check out this video right here where I explain every single devil fruit in one piece. Thanks for watching.